Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. You are watching Mainframe VSAM Tutorials. Today, I would like to share you about a uh, print command in working with the VSAM files. So, we will see how important a print command it it is in a VSAM. So, here we will we, I will be showing you a live by connecting to the mainframe terminal and I'm, I'm going to show you how a print command works uh, or how a print command is useful for the VSAM file. So let's start with the definition, uh, simple definition. To give a small definition it is used to print the contents of a VSAM data sets and uh, in order to use this uh, as you know like if you want to read uh, the contents of your VSAM data, uh, VSAM file data so you either you can use edit to option that is available in uh, ISPF panel uh, way which I have shown in my pre previous video how to read that so there is another way of doing it that is using a print command so in order to use this print command you need to write a GCL with the help of ID camps uh, IBM supplied utility you can do this so uh, you need what are the parameters you need to pass in the JCL that is print in file and your data set name uh, and if you how do you want to print it either hexadecimal format or character format or do you want to dump it oh I uh, since I wanted to see the characters I mean exact data what it is in a VSAM data set so the, uh, that is the that is how I write it as a char. So if it is a gray, if you are trying to read a KSDS cluster data set, so a, a you can you can specify from key to key, or you, if you are reading another data set like LDS or RDS or ESDS, you you can specify the address to from address to two address and from number to two numbers. So these are the different options available uh, in the print command while working with a visa so now we will connect to the mainframe and uh, write a JCL and see how this print command works okay so now here I am yes see here it is so here it is here is my JCL so where uh, I have written the job card and there's the job name so I'm pro I forgot to write the comment okay so Oh, I sh we should not miss this. I wanted to make sure that I write a comment. I give a comment and everything. Okay. Okay. Now, JCL. JCL to print the data of a VSAM file. Okay. Okay. Now. Okay, zero one ID cams. As I said, we will use ID cams more and more in a uh, VSAM. Whenever when you're working with a VSAM, ID cams is very powerful utility or very powerful program. You need to use it. So ID cams is prints this out, uh, this out, and uh, this is your input data set. That is a KSDS file, and uh, in this register, you have to specify it as a print command input file. Uh, either you can give your data set or you can give it the DD name so I'm trying to give the DD name and I want to print in a character format not as a hexadecimal or I don't want to dump it okay now just submit it okay it has ended with max is zero then go to spool and verify what data it has okay so spool so sprint okay here it is you have to specify this parameter and id cam security has read the data access the data set by reading into the cluster and next and so on and it has extracted all the information that is key of record but initially it will show a record number and followed by these data sets okay data set information and so on okay so how many records it has so I think it has number of record process was 14 and the function complete highest condition code was 0 so with the in this way uh, this print command is going to work so you can try multiple options that is for specifying from key to two key since it is a KSDS uh, data sets you can specify the from key and two key and uh, uh, if you are trying to read a RRDS or ASDS you can use uh, address and number 
so you can try you can try different options uh, with this print command so I hope you will be doing uh, you'll be doing a lot of practice on this so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video kindly please subscribe share or comment on my youtube channel I'll be coming up with more and more videos stay tuned to main tutorials have a great day